do a lot of really, really good work uh, because you're really battling against the CCP like nobody ever before. We have a problem here, uh, Isla. It's just right at our doors here at, uh, with everything that we see in the United States, the things that we're having to endure. It's just the same as what the Chinese people had to endure when the communism really took root there. Uh, tell us a little bit about the, before we move on, about the organization F NFSC and what you all are continuing to do. Absolutely. And thank you, Dustin. Um, you know, I'm more than proudly to introduce the organization and movement that I participate in. The NFSC stands for the Federal State of China. Uh, you know, it arises from uh, the whistleblowers movement and the founder of this movement is Mr. Mao Suo. Uh, back, you know, and back to uh, 2017, Mr. Mao Suo started to broadcast and start to whistleblow about the inside corruption uh, of the Chinese Communist Party. He started to, uh, uh, you know, whistleblow all these corruptions and darkness of the CCP and raised the international attention. So this is how the movement uh, starts and gains support from it, both inside and outside China. Uh, moving along this week, we received many, many supports, not only in mainland, but worldwide, also in Western societies as well. Luckily, uh, we've already, you know, three years for the new federal state of China, and many supporters were able to whistleblow the actual messages. We'd we'll be able to, one, whistleblow, you know, the, the upcoming pandemic of the COVID virus, the truth about the virus, and potential treatment use uh, that can cure the COVID-19 pandemic. And second is about the truth of the vaccine. We, the new federal state of China are probably one of the largest unvaccinated groups in this world because our inside scientists had whistleblowed about the truth and why the CCP had launched the toxic vaccine and, you know, propaganda the use of this vaccine uh, to, to the public. And, you know, third, that many of the, the people who are inside the Chinese Communist Party were actually supporting the uh, supporting new federal state of China in their own ways. Many of them, including military officers, were whistleblowing operation, uh, you know, the documents against Taiwan and against uh, you know, many other countries. And they're whistleblowing these messages through whistleblowers movement so that the world can be aware of the potential world launched in the United States.